Good morning guys, how are you guys doing today? It's Jay Lee, I'm bringing you guys a new video. Today I'm bringing you guys a video on the Praetor's Revenge, which is the sniper from the Volta Glass. Now the Praetor's Revenge is most commonly used in the Crucible, because on PvE, I gotta say that this is probably the worst sniper you can use. Uh, the impact is really low, and that is probably the worst thing you can have in the sniper. Even with Article Destructor, I think this sniper is actually really bad, even for the Volta Glass. It takes more than 4 shots to destroy your article, so honestly, this is not really an option for PvE. Now in the Crucible, I also don't believe that this is actually the best option out there but the reasons why i like to use it is because i think it helps you to become better as a sniper if you're someone that's trying to improve as a sniper i'll say this is probably the best option out there to use and the reason for that is because this weapon has no aim assist and having no aim assist is actually like a big handicap for a sniper now you might think that that might be a negative but it is in a way but it also helps to become more accurate with your shots when you're using a dowsy or a longbow um there's things that help you out like aim assist and the weapon itself and also in some of the scopes like short gaze um, they obviously get help with the aim assist but the pro revenge is one of those snipers with the lowest aim assist and that pushes you to be more accurate basically when it comes to drag scope you know quick scoping that actually becomes a lot more difficult when using the predator's revenge and that is why actually it's kind of known that if you are somewhat good with a Predator's Revenge, that actually means that you're a good sniper and you're not relying on aim assist and things like that. So I would say that if you're someone that's trying to become a better sniper or give the sniper a chance, it's not going to be easy in the beginning to obviously go from a Dazzy Ash Terrace to a Predator's Revenge just because of the aim assist. But I promise you that if you get used to using this weapon and then you move back to something like a Dazzy Ash Terrace or whatever, it's not even just becomes a lot easier because you're pushing yourself to be more accurate and that is obviously the main thing in sniping so i hope you guys give this sniper a chance if you're trying to get better and i'm gonna leave you guys with some clips that i got using this sniper i hope you guys enjoy it if you guys do please leave a like if you guys subscribe to the channel that means a lot to me i hope you guys have a great day guys take care guys peace Thank you.
fight's over. <laughs>